Hello, Kathy Williams de Vries here again, uh, welcoming you to my full analysis of the Sanson Clarinet Sonata. We're at the second movement. Um, this movement short and sweet, and it's a lot of fun. Um, very, very light. You need to have a very, very light staccato. Um, <laughs> and I suppose fairly fast as well. Um, the way to get a really, really soft staccato is to do repeated note scales. You're moving the tongue as little as possible. Now you need a lot of breath support. But um, let's play through it. Now, the way it's played. Is um, you emphasize the first note, come away with the second note, and also you cut the second note off. So. And also in the minimum, come away again, almost make a bowl kind of bowl sound. Like a bouncing ball, ball, ball. So, that's how you do it slowly. So, I'll do it slowly, that's, that's not going to hurt. And come away on the dig as well. And uh, don't squeeze up to the top notes, it'll come out better if the jaw stays where it is. And don't let the support down, even though you're staccato and support right through. So I'll play it at speed now. No need to squeeze anyway, and then uh, it's a little bit easier here. So again, there's probably not time for a covered fingering there, but definitely. Actually, at the beginning, too, um, covered fingering for the B flat. Because the B flat is a pretty yucky note. You can see how much difference that makes. smooth emphasize the slur because we haven't had any so far really and then again something like that anyway Very, very light, very, very light. You don't want to. And actually, a way to practice this is um, repeated note, is with repeated, repeated notes. So that it gets you used to the light staccato when you're not flapping your fingers around everywhere. And then we're um say that it's a very good way of practicing anything staccato. I mean you could even go Now 
we come to the slurred bit. Now here, long phrase again. Because we're going up to a forte anyway, we're going from a P, so it's quite a, a, a quick crescendo. Uh, long B flat, one and one. Um, and emphasize the G's too. Now, this next section, I almost see as a cat and a mouse. Because you've got the cat patiently waiting, and you can almost hear his tail, actually. It's a, it's a different tempo. And make sure that D comes out. Uh, the F, sorry. And then the mouse scurries. And then the cat again. And then remember the D flats this time. And then, and then I think um, the cat's scurrying after the mouse. Sorry. Um, and remember your right hand D flat, left hand C to get up to the E flat. And then the mouse scurrying. And then we're suddenly. Uh... And now this section is quite difficult. as effortless as the first couple even though you've got an inordinate amount of sharps so um, you really need it clean F sharp G sharp A sharp to a left hand C sharp so that you can get the D sharp on the right hand with our long phrase and here you need to slide you can slide from the D sharp to the C or the C sharp to the G sharp um, I tend to slide from the C sharp to the D sharp you need to slide because it won't come out otherwise it's probably easy to slide from the D sharp to the C Slide again from the D sharp to the C sharp. And I slow down a little bit there. So if you look at that whole section. So the piano, button, 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 bum, button, button, bum, and you can actually even emphasise it a little bit. You know, it's um because I'll get that piano part out again. 
very good to look at the piano part. Yeah, so the piano part. Because the piano is not doing anything in those two beats and it, and it emphasizes it a little bit. So. And I uh, made that a really juicy C sharp. And this is the same as the beginning. And again, um, long B flat. Either way, but I think it's easy with the long B flat. Now, it's the piano in this next bit that plays the cat. Yum bum 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 bum. And we're the mouse. squeeze the B flat so so there you have it it's a very very fun second movement uh, it's not very long but um, I think I've given you the general idea very very light staccato practice repeated notes staccato um, cat and mouse, um, make sure you get this uh, nasty bit. Lots of slow practice there. And uh, remember the long phrases as well. So, so even though they're little short little motifs, the phrase goes on. Okay, so uh, that's the second movement for you.